How to Pack Lightly for a Family Vacation Family vacations may not always be a blast, with siblings and parents arguing nonstop. Follow this tips to help make your family vacation just a little smoother. Steps 1. Get excited. Read up about your destination. If you have been there before, remember all the fun times you had. Research fun restaurants, attractions, and towns near where you are staying. Search pictures on the internet of where you are going. The more excited you are about your trip, the more fun packing will be. 2. Find a suitcase, preferably a bag that is a good size. It all depends on how long the vacation is. A suitcase that is a little too small is better than one that is too big, as a small back will prevent you from overpacking and paying expensive luggage fees. Find a carry on bag too. This can be anything from a backpack to a purse or duffel to a small suitcase, though not recommended. If you want to use the things in your carry on, make sure to bring a smallish bag instead of a small suitcase. 3. Keep an eye on the weather. Find out what the weather is going to be like where you are going and what the climate is. You can also find extended forecasts on well known weather sites or a weather app. 4. Pick out the clothes. The general rule is as many underwear as the days you will be gone, i.e., traveling seven days, seven pairs of underwear. 1. Two as many socks unless your destination is cold, then pack more, as many shirts as the days you're traveling, since shirts normally take up little space, 1 to 2 sweaters per week, 1 to 2 pairs of pajamas per week, 2, 3 less pairs of shorts, pants than the days you're traveling, and 1, 2 less bras than the days you're traveling. 5. Collect the toiletries and put them all in one place. Set the bag beside them, and they do not have to be travel size. If they are, you will have more space in the bag. Basically, you don't have to go spend your money on travel sized things. Plus, it's very easy to run out of something travel sized as it is used very quickly. I.e., hairspray, you could buy some at your destination if needed. 6. Pack your clothes into your suitcase. I like to pack by putting all the shirts in one pile, all the shorts in another pile, all the socks in a pile. Get it? It saves space. Do not roll the clothes. It could make them wrinkle. It may save space, but you don't want wrinkly clothes. You could pack by putting an outfit with another on top of it. Except the socks, underwear, and bras. 7. Pack toiletries. Pack them nicely into a bag. I like to use several little bags. One for makeup, one for perfume, lotion, and shampoo. Another for hair ties, hairbrush, hairspray, toothbrush, and toothpaste. Put the toiletry bag into your suitcase. Place the toiletries on top of the clothes. The toiletries will keep anything below protected in case the stuff underneath shifts for some reason i.e. turbulence or slamming on the brakes, pack all your carry-on things. Laptop, phone, camera, MP3, headphones, DVDs, mini-DVD player book, pillow, blanket, etc., most of that could be packed in the middle of a suitcase where it will stay most protected. If you are driving, you won't be watching a movie on your DVD player. 8. Place that all by the front door or in the garage. That way, it can be packed into the car faster. 9. Clean up Don't you love coming home to a clean house? 10. Pack your car up If you are just going to the airport, it doesn't have to be really neat. If you are driving to your destination, pack the car really nicely. That way, it will be easy to take everything out of your car and get it into the hotel, house you are staying in. Tips
clean the house before you go. It can make all the difference when you return.